I'm so glad. We're gonna harvest for our meal tonight, which is one of our new favorites, beet burgers. So what do we need, babe? Well, beets to start. Let's go find some beets. Beets me. Maybe an onion? Let's get an onion. Let's go ahead and pick this guy. Good size onion. I'm also gonna grab some thyme. So we've got some lemon thyme. <laughs> grab a couple peppers to saute with the onion. I'm gonna grab a couple poblano peppers. I think this one's pretty large, so I don't think we need another one. Pick one of these Black Beauty tomatoes. So pretty. Okay, that should be good. What's that behind you? Not related to this video. <laughs> Break for ground cherry. Got something else in my mouth? Whoops. <laughs> Should make sure you put that on camera. Mm -mm. Oh, I wanted to grab some arugula for a little spice. Wow, I can taste that just by picking it. The arugula? Yeah. So good. Give me all the ground juries. Mm, 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 mm. The evidence of a ground jerry thief. <laughs> They're everywhere. Like candy wrappers laying everywhere. <laughs> mm. So for this recipe, I'm using four small, medium-sized beets. And you don't want to wear white when you're working with beets. Make your hand all pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the food processor with the shredder attachment. It's displayed right here. like that oh no <laughs> no not like that like that <laughs> and then put it on high and it shreds it super easy Go ahead and peel the skin off this onion so I can chop it up and throw it in the food processor with the beads. Should make you cut onions. Goodness. I didn't know I'd get so emotional. One medium onion. About a cup of garbanzo beans. I'm actually not going to rinse them because 
the liquid in a can of garbanzo beans can actually act as an emulsifier. Now I'm going to use about a cup of oats and three quarters cup flour. This was recently harvested in our backyard. I'm going to use four cloves of garlic. Just getting those peeled so I can mince them. It has about two teaspoons dried thyme leaves. I'm just using a few sprigs. Normally you have to use more fresh than you would dry. Next is a silly ingredient, but it makes it taste delicious. So peanut butter. And I'm just gonna use two tablespoons. About two tablespoons. Of course you did let the spoon. And then a teaspoon of salt. Time to blend this bad boy up. Where's the lid? Oh. pause to scrape down the sides quite a bit, especially if you're making a big batch like I am. So we may have already put an onion in the burger itself, but we love onions, especially like caramelized and sauteed on top of veggie burgers. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some more onion and a couple peppers and get those going. And I'm obsessed with the flavor of poblano peppers. And I'm just gonna chop up a green bell pepper. I've been feeling so small. So let's go ahead and add the peppers and onions to the pan. And now I'm going to make some patties and put those guys in the other one. guys are cooking right along. So they'll cook on this side for just a couple minutes and then I'll flip them over and then they'll cook on that side, the next side for a couple minutes. So they're super quick once you get them on. And there's obviously still a lot left. I believe this will make probably about eight patties. This beet burger recipe is inspired and mostly from a blog called It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. I made a few alterations, I substituted chickpeas for lentils because that's what I had on hand. The biggest alteration I made to this recipe was using garden produce for it. Look at beautiful stars.